Joining us here on the Automoblog YouTube channel is Mike Pennington, Director of Training and Consumer Relations at Meguiar's, overseeing and setting procedures for the company's global technical training programs. Mike is Meguiar's resident expert on all of its products and technologies and is one of the foremost experts in the world on proper car care techniques. Mike is going to be giving us some car care pointers and making some product recommendations as we go along for the exterior of our vehicles as we care for our paint, our exterior paint. Now you can find links to each of these products below on Amazon and as an Amazon associate, Automoblog earns from qualifying purchases, commissions from Amazon and other affiliate partners like Meguiar's come to us at no additional cost to you, our viewer. Mike, welcome back. Good to see you again, friend. Hi, Carl. How are you? You make me nervous with that intro being the expert here. Uh, you know, we're just talking talking shop on taking care of your car. So it got me yeah. a little nervous with that. <laughs> it's, and it's not even expert. It's world's foremost expert. <laughs> Oh, great. The, the weight is hitting my shoulders as we speak. <laughs> Mike, as, as you remember, we did a comprehensive overview video with you on all aspects of car care. Now, we're going to include a link to that. So if you want to see the full picture when it comes to taking care of your car, you can head over to that video. In this video specifically, we're going to be focusing just on the exterior of the vehicle with regard to your paint. So, Mike, let's start with our daily drivers. We'll definitely touch on classic and collector cars in a little bit, but with our daily drivers, just our everyday cars, when it comes to the exterior paint of our vehicles, what should we be aware of beforehand? You really got to, before you do anything, you got to look at yourself and kind of understand what are your goals for that particular vehicle? Maybe it's a daily driver that's a work truck that, you know, doesn't need to be as cared for as, you know, your, your weekend toy. So really understanding what your goals are because not all detailing, not all washing is identical. You know, sometimes you can do a quick and easy. Sometimes it's gonna take you several hours. Sometimes it may take an entire day. So we really recommend kind of pausing, understanding where your head is at for that particular situation, and then begin to understand what's the best path. Do I have the right tools, the right accessories? the right products, and most importantly, the time to execute that time. And if we take that a step further, it's, it's pretty funny is, even though it's a daily driver or your weekend you know, cruiser, even those may have different expectations every time you do those. So really we'd say look inward first and understand what your goals are and then take that next step that could take you in a couple different directions. Mike, we've talked about this before and, and you're mentioning the time commitment when we have these automatic washes and they're everywhere these days it's easy to run through if you get a subscription and you get the top package you go a couple times a week few times a month it pays for itself so there's a convenience factor there but what should we look for in an automatic wash so that we don't damage our paint of course and understanding that washing is one of the most crucial aspects of that five-step paint care cycle you know, washing is what gets all that debris off, road debris, um, acid rain, fallout, whatever that may be, before it has a chance to bond. So washing daily or anything is crucial. So this is most important. If we talk specifically, we know that do-it-yourself is gonna always yield the best results because you can choose everything at your vehicle, you're gonna pamper it. But really the things to look for on washes They've come a long way, these tunnel washes. There's some really high-tech machines that don't actually touch your vehicle. They use special chemicals, special water. They can add some type of protection in many cases. So that industry of pampering, caring for, let's call it your daily for lack of better terms, is, is very important. So we would say, look at the age of that wash, look at the equipment, look at the tunnel look at the vehicles that are going through there, take a look at the staff, the people, the management. You're gonna know real quick and listen to your gut to say, would I run that through? Because some dailies are pretty darn nice, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's that's true, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's almost like, just get a very good vibe. And, and they are out there for sure. But like we said before, don't just go to the closest or the least expensive. Because uh, in some cases you may not be happy. So do your due diligence, a little bit of research. It doesn't take that much time. And maybe even ask around. Some people that you know visited some of these and go, are you really happy with the job they're doing? 
And if the answer is no, keep looking. So it's actually pretty easy to find uh, a fairly good, friendly tunnel wash, you know, winter, spring, summer, or fall, they can come in handy. So let's say that you go through an automatic wash, a good automatic wash, but you get it back to your place and you're like, there's more that I want to do with it. I want to put my finishing touches on it. Mike, how do you know where to start? You know, do you do a detailer's mist? Do, do you do a, a full wax? What's the right strategy for products? And then what's the right strategy for techniques so that you don't end up damaging your paint inadvertently? Something I'm so thankful you brought this up is you can go back to your house and grab some of these products to really put that finishing touch on that vehicle because they're never gonna do it as good as you like to do it. And we've all, let's face it, you go through even a tunnel, they dry it, they do everything. You drive away, you got that water that runs down the side, it runs across your windows, mm -hmm. the, the dressing and protectant on your tires is not perfect. So we recommend absolutely go home and grab yourself a product like our Ultimate Quick Detailer, our hybrid ceramic detailer. Something that you can really quickly and easily wipe down that vehicle again. Because remember, all the dirt's been removed, but you're really removing that water, anything that kind of came out from the mirrors or the emblems, and kind of giving it just that little pop, if you will. And then of course, glass. Grab yourself a Perfect Clarity glass towel. Grab yourself some Perfect Clarity glass cleaner, you know? And really make sure they did those windows. Crack them down and get that quarter inch edge. Roll them up, get where they may not have taken the time. And then of course, tires are gonna be super important that they look their best. Um, grab yourself some protectant, uh, whether you like high shine, low shine, medium shine, and make sure and do those tires one more time so they're uniform, thorough, and it just looks like it was almost just detailed. And you really got the best of both worlds because that will take you 15, 20 minutes, you know, on top of that. And it really elevates that vehicle to the next level. It looks like you spent all day doing it almost. Right. With those products, what do you recommend for technique for the paint? It's really easy. Grab yourself a new, clean, premium, let's call it our Supreme Shine microfiber. And you're still going to have one or two of those. Grab your favorite Ultimate Quick Detail or Hybrid Ceramic Detailer. And you're going to start just literally one panel at a time. You're going to be in the shade, you know, under cover, maybe near a tree if you, if you don't have a covered parking. That's okay. Just find some shade. And then just one panel at a time. It's as easy as a light mist. Grab your towel, spread it, flip it, and wipe it dry. Go to that next panel, mist, mist, spread, flip, wipe it dry. So as you work around, let's call it the painted areas, again, you're removing any of that water that's run down out of those emblems, out of those mirrors, and add a little bit of pop of color, if you will. Then you're gonna set that aside. You're gonna grab some glass cleaner, a separate microfiber towel, and go ahead and, and, and spot check those windshield, the side windows, maybe that back glass. Because again, you're probably going to notice some streaks that they didn't really pay attention to because they're kind of running through volume. It's your time now to double check those corners uh, around that mirror and just let's call it do a quick cleanup on those mirrors. Set that aside, then grab yourself your favorite dressing. Maybe it's Ultimate Insane Shine, a clean applicator onto the applicator, wipe it on, make it uniform and smooth, stand back, Make sure the drips runs are all gone and then enjoy it and go drive it and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Our ultimate waterless wash and wax is also a great go to even it doesn't have to be after a wash. I mean, if you want to keep it clean on a regular basis every two or three days, again, everybody's different. You can give your vehicle a wipe down because it's going to lift, lubricate, surround, give you a little bit more area and ability to remove some of that light dirt without maybe having to go to the car wash. So it's a really versatile product, but just be mindful of that, you know, and fresh towels, fresh towels, fresh towels, and not just one towel, get yourself six or 12 of these, you know, premium microfibers and leverage them properly. And, and you will be amazed at how easy it is to keep your car looking at its best. Sure. If you have a bigger vehicle, you know, how do you make sure that you get the roof nice and clean so that you don't neglect that? What tips and advice do you have, especially for maybe some of those bigger trucks and SUVs? Certainly, safety is number one. Yeah. You know, what we, we want to advise people not to do is open up the door and try to stand on the door sill because mm -hmm. um, it might be a little bit wet. You could slip and fall. Yeah, good point. You know, don't stand up on, on the tire. You know, be very mindful and, and safety is priority. So there's a lot of great companies Right out here in our, our training studio, we actually have multiple versions. 
it's a little simple step ladder. And whether that's a single or we have ones that detailers use that are about three feet long that fold out and that will lift you up, you know, two feet in the air and it locks and it's secure. Um, so those are super friendly. And between that, you're gonna get yourself a pine up and you do the back, you know, split that roof into four areas. Sure. Don't try to reach all the way across. Don't try to reach and do half of it at one pop. Just be mindful of safety, safety, safety with the right tools, little step ladder, step stool, you'll be just fine. No, no wheels on it. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> And right. we chuck with that, but we've seen people roll over and it just, again, that's not a safe thing to do. So do some research and there's some great ones out there and uh, highly recommend if you've got a stock lifted SUV truck, it's a great investment. Yeah, we're speaking with Mike Pennington, Director of Training and Consumer Relations at Meguiar's. See the links in the description. That's going to take you to the Meguiar's YouTube channel where you can subscribe and see the latest updates. The Shop Talk series in particular is packed full of great info. Uh, Mike, of course, joining us here to talk shop today. Uh, Mike, as you know, and we've been touching on toweling, but it's so important that I want to come back to it <laughs> because <laughs> you can't talk shop without talking about toweling. And again, back to proper technique with towels. Share your thoughts with us again. We have a funny saying here and, and we didn't invent it, but it's just towel management. And a lot of people chuckle when they first hear that and they just, oh, they're just detailing towels. But if you start to pause and look back at how you care for your towels in your house, you know, you've certainly got very specific towels for bath, cleaning, uh, showering, uh, windows, all those separate things. When you look at it that way, you go, oh, that totally makes sense. So we like to tell people twofold, bring that mentality out into the garage because your car daily or weekend toy needs to be cared for the same. And what that means is how they're cared for, how they're used, how they're washed and how they're stored. And it sounds like a lot of work, but it's really not. For example, um, if you got a, a variety of towels and you're gonna be working on your paint with the detail or with the spray wax, you're gonna have a towel that's brand new, that's soft, fluffy, a premium microfiber towel. We'd say, keep that as your paint towel. Have six of them, have a dozen, whatever your, whatever your choice is. Have a separate set of towels for your glass have a separate set of towels for your interior. Maybe even have a separate set of towels for your wheels, tires, maybe even your engine, who knows. But what's great about towel management is they start off the best of the best, you know, your detail, your spray wax, and as they begin to get dirty, they begin to go down this path of, okay, it's time to use it on my interior for cleaning my vinyl and leather. Okay, let's, let's retire it down to the next wheel and tire stage. Let's retire it down to, you know, my engine bay. And then finally, moment of silence, it's time to get rid of that towel and start fresh. Yeah. So a selection of towels that are separated out and that gets into washing. Um, different towels are washed different ways. So we're going to say follow manufacturer directions, of course. Microfiber, you know, you're going to use low heat, um, things like that. You don't want to use bleach, no fabric softeners. There's some basics that are on all towels, but when you wash them, Wash them with similar items. You never mix cotton with microfiber and never mix an old wheel, tire, engine towel with a beautiful paint towel. Or don't mix glass and paint towels because the next time you may go, why is this glass towel streaking? Oh, it's got some contamination that didn't wash out. So as you begin to think about towel management, it becomes very easy. Storage, closed, they don't want to get dirty. They're ready to go next time. And it's just getting yourself in a cycle and a routine of they're just as important. Maybe you've got a toolbox that has everything organized. Your towels need to be the same way too. Yeah, yeah. Mike, we've been talking an awful lot about everyday vehicles or daily drivers, um, which is, as you said, can be tremendously beautiful vehicles. Again, talking about some of these trucks, SUVs and sports cars, but what about for a true classic? What about for a true collector car, a weekend toy, as, as, as you're saying? So similar kind of question with the exterior and the paint. What do we do for product? What do we do for technique? Obviously, the toweling aspect's huge, but what do we do there to get the best shine and then, of course, to prevent damage? Well, what's great about a weekend play toy, you know, you kind of have a different mindset. So that daily typically is, um, you know, time constraints, 
get it done quicker. It doesn't have to look as good, but I'm gonna put a good coat of protection on it because it's it could be outside and it gets driven, quote, daily, hence the word. So the mindset of your weekend car shifts a little bit. So the process, the steps of wash, clean, polish, protect, maintain, nothing changes because the paint is paint, chrome is chrome, glass is glass, leather is leather, but that it, does, it may not need to be protected as much. Maybe you're going after gloss. So there's some products that may shift Maybe it doesn't need to be washed because it doesn't get driven in the rain. So it's probably not gonna see a tunnel. You're probably gonna grab that ultimate waterless wash and wax once you cruise uh, to that local event and go back home. But your time that you're going to invest um, changes typically. So you can slow down, you can make sure you're really paying attention to the toweling, the technique. And, and you're really achieving even better results, or you're just maintaining that the exact same way. Maybe it's a coat of spray wax, fresh towels, technique doesn't change. And that's what's great about it is time, um, mentality, and maybe beautification versus protection comes into play a little bit. Does that make sense? Absolutely does. And uh, again, the, the toweling aspect of it, I, I, th I think I think that's the game changer. I think <laughs> as we've gone through, we've done this interview, we're recording this video as part of a larger series, a larger playlist for our Automoblog YouTube channel. That's the one thing, Mike, in, in us working together now that is really standing out. The proper toweling, just that that's the game changer there, no matter what you're driving. Yeah, and, and then if you take that even... You know, stretch that a little bit further. You've got a white daily driver. Certainly, tallying is important by all means. You don't want to put any marks in it. But if you, mm -hmm. let's say, you've got a very dark colored, perfect swirl free, um, exotic or classic, you know, whatever your, whatever your, whatever makes your heart pitter patter, the last thing you want to do is grab a towel to put a mark in it mm -hmm. because you're really going to notice it at that point. You know, it's a deep, dark black, blue, red. You're going to see it more because that's your baby. So tallying almost becomes even more critical in situations like that. It's still critical on a daily, but it, the game gets elevated when you're, you know, working on those other types of vehicles. So process is the same, but some little things just to shift ever so slightly. See the links in the description for all the products that we've talked about here, uh, each of which is available on Amazon. As an Amazon associate, Automoblog earns from qualifying purchases, commissions from Amazon, and other affiliate partners like Meguiar's come to us at no additional cost to you, our viewer. Mike, thank you for being here with us. Um, it's always a pleasure to interview you. Always a pleasure to work with you, my friend. Absolutely. This is this is the highlight. Uh, we said it before, I'd rather be talking shop than doing some other things. So this is a treat for us and a treat for me personally. So thank you. Yeah, we'll catch up with you again real soon, Mike. In Detroit, alongside Mike Pennington, on behalf of Automoblog, I'm Carl Anthony. Mm -hmm.